Hey guys, welcome back to the layout. So today I've got a quick layout update for you. Um, what we're looking at, we're looking at my yard where all the locomotives park. And uh, I don't know if you guys have uh, noticed, but there's something missing. And you might not notice, and if not, that's no big deal. Let me zoom out a little just to uh, make sure that nothing's hiding behind that tower. Um, basically, I, uh, I've sold one of my locomotives. I have sold my Bachman GP35. Uh, number 5003, I, I think, yeah. And um, I sold that to Joe G. Now I'm subscribed to him, he's subscribed to me, and he's commented on quite a few of my videos, but I'm going to post his profile, uh, or his channel rather, uh, down below so you guys can check it out. Uh, he, he's a pretty cool guy. Uh, he's uh, creating a new layout right now, kind of building it up. Uh, he does a couple uh, How I videos as well. Uh, you know to show people how uh, how he's done things like super elevation um, Stuff like that. He's got his daughter uh, Into trains a little bit. I think uh, I think he's hoping that she catches the bug. So um, he's, he's a really cool guy definitely go check out his channel, but uh, he's purchased the uh, the GP 35 from me So that's really awesome I'm really excited about that um, Now I have purchased um, a Bachman RS 3 and I'm still waiting for that to come in, and once that comes in, I will be doing a uh, box unboxing video. So uh, watch out for that. That's coming up hopefully soon. Um, so basically, layout update stuff. Uh, you can see in the background, if I kind of gaze up, I have a blue backdrop. And basically, it's nothing special. It's uh, Bristol Board, one of the dollar stores uh, in my area was going out of business and uh, everything was half price so I snagged up a bunch of sheets and I hot glued them to the walls. Is it perfect? Absolutely not. But does it look so much better than the brick hiding behind it? Oh it does. It makes such a difference. So that's really awesome and I'm really excited about this. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and apologize for the messiness of the layout. I am actually creating another how-to video on insta uh, installing uh, tortoise switch machines. So that's super awesome because I've already got two installed and I will get there slowly. Um, if you notice to the left, um, I have sorted out my yard. I'm just going to pan down here. Um, because I'm actually creating a roster so I can start doing better op sessions. What I want to do, um, and actually Joe commented on this as well, um, just today actually. Uh, which is probably why I'm mentioning it uh, for a while ever since I started my first op session um, You know what I do when I do my op session is uh, I typically Talk to the camera person because it's me and somebody else I tell them what I'm doing so that they can follow properly or we're controlling two separate trains or something's going on um, So typically that's why I put music over all my ops videos because uh, you're gonna hear us chatting about stuff going wrong Or stuff that we need to do all that stuff uh, and it's just stuff that I don't think would be uh, very entertaining to, to listen, uh, as well as until I get the sound decoder in that S2, uh, it makes that really annoying buzzing sound that DC locomotives make on, uh, you know, DCC layouts. So it's not exactly pleasant to listen to just yet, which is kind of more of the reason. But what I want to do is I actually want to, when I make operating ses sessions, right now I kind of write it down in a book and I say, hey, I want to take that, you know, that black car over there. I want it, you know, over there. And uh, I want to take uh, that uh, red hopper there. And I've got to go in that siding. And, you know, I kind of write it down a little bit, but uh, I usually memorize it. Well, what I want to do is I want to make a roster of everything. And then as I do the ops video, I want to maybe make a little checklist on one side or the bottom or top. Or I want to say, hey, you know, uh, Alco S2 number 7020 is picking up boxcar, you know, I don't know, CN, uh, bringing it over to, you know, I don't know, the National Fuel Supply Co., something like that, you know? Um, so I want to get that done, and that's why I have uh, kind of gotten everything going. Uh, now, quick comment here. I'm coming up on 500 subscribers. I mentioned this last update. Uh, I'm at 481, I think, last time I checked. Uh, one of these flat cars are probably going to be a really good uh, candidate for one of the giveaway prizes. Um, and it is a train line, Burlington Northern. Uh, I also have a couple Athern, or Atlas, excuse me, Atlas bulkhead uh, flat cars. 
Um, and I've got a couple other things that I'm probably going to try to throw in. Um, and we're going to have multiple, pri uh, multiple prizes, obviously, multiple winners. Um, you know, more chances to win. So more details uh, when we get closer to that. I don't want to jump the gun and uh, do anything uh, and say anything before time. Uh, kind of moving over, we see my PM42. That is uh, kind of laid out. I will be making a uh, how-to video on wiring that because I have just recently finished blocking my entire layout. So now the main line is a proper block. Uh, the industries and uh, sh kind of uh, short line is a block and uh, the yard is a block. So that's really awesome and uh, that's really great. So I'm excited for that. That's coming up quick too. Um, really excited to see where this goes. We're going to kind of continue over the layout. You can see how nice the blue looks instead of the brick and the wood. And we're almost uh, we're almost done. Last thing I want to mention here is I've put in two tortoise switch machines. So um, actually I can continue over here. Again, so sorry for the mess. Um, but basically that and that switch and you can see I've just got them temporarily on some wood shims now they are not powered which is what that orange and white wire is it's the power that I just kind of strew across the room uh, to test but basically they are daisy chained they're not powered right now but I've got the bicolor LEDs and I've got the double pull double throw switch um, and they work awesome so I'm really excited I'm going like I said I'm coming out with the how-to video on that very shortly uh, a couple days it should be finished and, uh, you know, I can spread the love, spread the knowledge, and uh, go from there. All right, guys, well, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. Um, last little comment, you can see uh, right there, I've printed out some pictures of all the prototypes that I will be uh, modeling, actually. Uh, in present year 1976, here in Cordova Valley, um, we have five locomotives that will be on the roster. We have the 7020 Alco S2. Uh, and this is actually a, a pretty late uh, picture in 1983. We have the not yet arrived Alco RS3, which is the uh, number 8438. We have the Alco C630M, uh, number 4500. And we have the two Alco C24, uh, 424s, um, 4208 and 4213. And I printed these out because I think it's a really cool to have too. I want to, uh, you know, make sure all the prototypes are correct. I got to move the horn on a couple things, uh, change the bell, that kind of thing. But for the most part, I'm really excited about uh, having a full Alco roster properly now. And uh, that's it. So until next time, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up before 10 minutes, just over eight minutes. That's awesome. I think that's a record. Maybe not. Um, so until next time, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, any comments, criticism, ideas, anything like that, feel free to share down in the comments. If you like this video, don't for forget to uh, thumbs up it. And if you're not and want to be, go ahead and subscribe. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Until next time, enjoy your bacon.